Dogs Trust is the UK's largest dog uh, welfare organisation. We have 17 rehoming centres in the UK and an 18th uh, centre in, in Dublin, in Ireland. We care for um, homeless and stray and abandoned dogs in our rehoming centre and look to find them um, their perfect homes where they can live for the rest of their lives. <laughs> At the Glasgow Rehoming Centre, uh, we have 66 kennels that have underfloor heating, air conditioning. All the dogs are individually cared for as they, uh, as they need on an individual basis. We have large exercise areas, a big dog walking field. We also have a training barn where our dogs can do agility and exercise and also special training in doggy manners um, to help them find their new home. Well, I'm a canine carer for Dogs Trust, uh, which basically means that we care for the dogs when they come into the centre and for their, their full stay at the centre. In the morning we're doing the kind of kennel cleaning, keeping the dogs kennel clean, making sure that they've got clean, dry bedding. Throughout the day the dogs all get exercise, each dog gets walked every day, uh, so that all gets done as well. In the afternoon uh, we're open to the public and that's uh, helping people and matching people up with their ideal dog and um, getting as many dogs as we can into the, the correct homes. The training methods that we use across all our Dogs Trust centres are positive reward based training methods. This means that when a dog performs a behaviour, um, it's given a positive reward. When we do train, um, you will see our trainers clicking, um, and this is advising the dog that they have done well, and then they will shortly after be given a treat. What happens is over time, the dog associates the behaviour with the reward, and so they're more likely to perform the positive behaviour more often. At Dogs Trust Glasgow we have approximately 32 staff members. Um, this starts from our managers who live on site um, to care for the dogs 24 hours a day. We also have our canine carers who work with, clean the dogs in the morning and then also rehome the dogs and find them suitable homes in the afternoons. We have an education officer who goes out to schools um, talking to the dog owners of future, helping them understand the responsibilities of dog ownership and also staying safe around dogs. We have a vet who treats and cares for all our animals and also trains veterinary students from the Glasgow Vet School. Um, so each week we have five new veterinary students come in and uh, assist in our veterinary suite and look after and care for and examine our dogs uh, to enhance their training to become veterinary students. As an organisation, Dogs Trust care for over 16,000 dogs a year. At the Glasgow Rehoming Centre, on average, we find homes for over 1,000 dogs a year. Anybody that's interested in rehoming a dog from Dogs Trust, we get them to fill in a questionnaire initially. That gives us an idea of what they are looking for. After they've had a look at the dogs, if there's any dogs that they're interested in, we, we see if that particular dog is going to be suitable for them. If the dog is, they can take the dog out for a walk, see how they got on with the dog, if they're wanting to give the dog a home, and we just arrange the details after that. The Dogs Trust Glasgow Rehoming Centre was opened in October 2006. It is funded uh, entirely by our supporters, so we're very lucky um, through our sponsor dog scheme, people that fundraise for Dogs Trust, help us to build rehoming centres like Glasgow. We receive no government funding or national lottery funding, so it is purely our supporters that enable us to do this. For Dogs Trust Glasgow, we've just recently opened a charity shop just two miles from the rehoming centre. So we're able to um, recycle lots of unwanted clothing and handbags and shoes and all those things and sell them um, to make money for our dogs. The most rewarding part uh, working for Dogs Trust is seeing the dogs going to their new families. Um, I think that's, that's the most rewarding part of it, seeing that they're uh, happy and ready to go um, and also when the people bring the, the dogs back in let us know how the dogs are doing it's always good to see that they're, they're doing well.